make and go make and pie. I assume is how he wants it. Is either that or go make and pie. Uh, actually, an Olimar main. So this is going to be uh, an interesting matchup. Captain L not. Uh, not a stranger to be able to keep his space in these zoning matchups. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for Olimar, Pikachu is a, not that great of a matchup as far as I know. Um, though it, because of all the multi-hits kind of making the Pikmin less effective. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, uh, Go Make and Pie, Go Mock and Pie, all I'm thinking about is Pie now. Yeah. It, Olimar is, is keeping Pikachu away. He's got to keep that up though, otherwise it's going to be tough because Pikachu is pretty darn good at combos. Yeah, Pikachu going to especially wreak havoc if he ever gets uh, Go Make and Pie off stage. Uh, right now, Captain L looks like he's slowly getting a sense of how to bridge this neutral gap. The main way that I see uh, Captain L tend to play is he likes occupying that sort of burst range, just out of reach of where the opponent can reach the furthest. So he can force whiff punishes and then find himself his clean, just whatever maximum guaranteed punish he can get, and then going back. And I like yeah. uh, uh, Go Make and Pie. He basically has adapted his gameplay. He's been throwing Pikmin and whatnot, and Pikachu's been now trying to like hold back and like look for openings, and then so he's like, okay, if you're going to do that, I'm just going to come right at you. He did that, and he, he had Pikachu off stage for a little while. Wasn't able to any, do you know any sort of cleanup, but has had er, the advantage for a while, and he's kind of been planted center stage this whole, almost the entire match. Yeah, he's honestly setting up a pretty good wall against Pikachu, which isn't too easy to do, especially considering his own speed as a character. Uh, it looks like, though, Captain L is getting more and more of a handle on how to keep, give chase to Go Make and Pie, because at first, whenever he popped up Go Make and Pie into the air, he actually wasn't chasing at all. He wanted yeah. to get a sense of what the air movement looked like, but now when we see it, he's constantly underneath Olimar's shadow. Really, the, 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 di the dichotomy of this matchup has been when Go Make and Pie is able to keep his feet down and kind of control center stage, uh, Captain L has had problems but then once Olimar gets pushed up into the air, it's been all Pikachu. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the nature of Olimar as a character because he has no air presence. Any Pikmin attack that he has... Ooh, clean Blue wow. Thunder right there. But any Pikmin attack that Olimar uses will has low priority, so it straight up loses to any air hitbox. So while Olimar is up in the air, he's actually easy pickings. And... Pikachu is a great picker. <laughs> all the t all of the aerial tools that there is, uh, every one of Pikachu's aerials uh, can do some pretty uh, great comboing tools to start everything. So if you get above Pikachu, you're pretty much taking at least like 15% as Olimar. Right now, I think Go Make and Pie is slowly trying to figure out how he wants to take this stock. He has a purple on deck, the blue still alive as well. Goes for a down smash there. I think he was expecting um, the quick attack to go right at him, but uh, Captain L stayed up, uh, and then after the down smash finished, then went in. So good maneuverability. Go Make and Pie's got to find this, though. Pikachu can't hang around like this. I think one of the things that's messing up Go Make and Pie's spacing is that the purple Pikmin actually travels slightly less different distance during the smash attacks. And we've seen him with a couple down smashes just we saw another barely. one there. Yeah. And I think uh, Captain L is actually probably aware of it because he's always just slightly out of reach of these purple smash attacks. But there we go, just going ahead and catching Captain L jumping around as opposed to waiting for his landing. For, uh, blue up air, still just as good at killing as the purple one. And... and Again, the exact same sort of half-and-half uh, half play. When Go Make and Pie has been in the position that he's in right now, um, he's had relative uh, no problem sort of just, you know, making damage, building it. But as soon as, as Captain L finds his way in, he's had a tough time. So we're going to see if Go Make and Pie's defense can keep up with the ever-evolving offense here of Captain L. I mean, we are seeing him actually cultivating his lineup of Pikmin right now, right? He's keeping the yellow one around because it's going to be annoying for Pikachu to kill. But he already killed his red and his blue because I think he's looking for more damage with the whites and uh, perhaps more knockback and a solid wall with the purple side Bs. Going to already get that white up. And he's going to—he's getting that space too because Captain L is willing to play this, this campy slow game, which is giving uh, him the ability to get his lineup all together. And that's really scary to let Olimar do. Mm -hmm. You let him get like two or three uh, purples, then he not only gets... Oh, Leave wow. Powerful moves like that. His Big zoning damage. is so good now. Yeah, I mean, they may have less range, but as long as he spaces well, it doesn't really matter what your range is like because it's going to be a huge wall of pain of just steroided up Pikmin. Mm -hmm. You saw right there when he tossed the... Oh, just barely out of range of the Thunder. When he tossed the purple Pikmin, it actually went... Oh, right wow, that oh. was a great air dodge, but unfortunately, Captain L also delayed the Thunder. Yeah, that was so smart, because he recognized the previous time when he didn't line it up, he saw the air dodge come out already by Go Make and Pie, so he's like, I can work with this. Yeah. I it, can find the kill. That was perfect recognition yeah. of, of a habit. Like, immediately saw the habit, immediately took advantage. D didn't wait for him to realize that, oh, maybe I should do something different. It was just bang, miss, 
Oh, I see why I missed. Bang. Wait. Bang. Go making pie actually looking making this a contest though. For sure. Uh, this is this is really promising. I could see him taking a game with a with a little bit of adjustment. Uh, so I know Captain L is on edge because he had to he had to go ahead and snatch that with a very clutch uh, read. Yeah, with those purples out and the percentage that Pikachu was at, plus Rage from Olimar, it was really anybody's contest at that point. I mean, Captain L certainly had the momentum, but as, similar to Ryu, when, when you got those perps out, man, mm -hmm. you, you really never know what's going to happen. And plus, he's got those great uh, grab confirms right there, already 48% off of a single throw because he had a purple on deck to maximize that damage. But now it's being run right back. Again, uh, th this complete, you know, hot and cold uh, tech uh, matchup here, it's just, like I said, it's a dichotomy. It, it, if someone's in their control, they're pushing it farther and further and further in their way until his op their opponent is able to like somehow push back. And then once it goes the other way, it's it's like watching a college basketball game. It's like mm -hmm. all about momentum. It, it's it's kind of similar to how you would, you'd see like Smash 64 being played. Yeah, like a very slow, deliberate neutral, but the punish game can be savage. Already getting a white Pikmin. Uh, that's going to do a good amount of damage. But Captain L fast to kill it before it gets more than four ticks on. Go making pie looking to keep applying this pressure. You see the way that he's tracking those quick attacks. So much awareness, and now two purples and a blue. This is kind of the ideal lineup for Olimar to find his kills. Because you have the blue to provide pressure in terms of grab kill uh, setups, and then you have the two purples for zoning and smash attacks. And you mentioned it earlier um, that uh, Go making pie uh, had. Or it happened earlier where Go Megan Pie missed a, a quick attack and he could have possibly got a down smash kill, missed it earlier, and but now has been tracking it really, really well. So I, I definitely a, an adjustment that he's made there. And now again now he's just kind of, you know, letting letting Pikachu stay away because he's like, well, we're pretty close in percent and I have my exact lineup that mm -hmm. I want, as you mentioned. I do like that uh, even though he's behind, Captain L is playing the clock wisely, right? He says, I still have four minutes to make this comeback and until he feels comfortable, he's oh. been sticking on the platform and now he finds his opening, finds the up smash and already puts it all the way in his favor. And again, uh, he was just basically waiting for an opening. Mm -hmm. um, Go making pie had a great defense up, but unfortunately let it slip just a little bit. Pikachu's quickness and then power with the up smash just sort of takes care of it. Go making pie's got a little bit of uh, work to do now because he does not have his ideal lineup. He does not have rage, so yeah, he actually has no Pikmin on deck. He gets himself a purple and a red. These these suitable enough for killing at this point, given that the amount of uh, percent on Captain L. Oh, Captain and L actually going full aggression with that quick attack. And that's a f one of the first times in a while here that. Uh, uh, Go Megan Pie wasn't able to defend against the quick, a the quick attack and track it really well. So, mm -hmm. mm, I had great a use of this natural platform. A little bit of sloppiness coming in from Go Megan Pie, maybe just feeling this slipping away. It's, I mean, it's so scary because every single joint of that quick attack, you know, has like eight or sixteen different angles he could be going in. Uh, and at some point, you kind of start doubting yourself whether or not you do have the right read when they've been evading you at every single turn up until now. Um, I, I do like Captain L staying on this platform. Very effective against Olimar because, again, that's a character that, we, as you said, when Olimar's boots are on the ground, he is a force. But in order to catch you on the platform, he has to leave the ground. And that's exactly what you'd want to do. Oh, there we go. We get it down here. Put Not great kill. DI up into the corner, just maximizing his ability to live. And it does happen to survive at 155. You've seen the distance of the uh, the purple side bees are already sending Go Making Pie now. I mean, sending Captain L, but still great turnaround grab to prevent uh, Olimar from performing any sort of offense. There, getting him up above Pikachu exactly where Captain L wants him. Captain L staying cool, wanting to draw out this stock for as long as possible, no matter what it takes. Is that at the end of the day, like, oh, wow. that's not gonna kill. Oh, it does. I'm not ready for the forward throw. Good DI mix up. I don't think either one of them expected the grab to happen there, to be <laughs> honest with you, because I certainly did. Yeah. All of a sudden, Pikachu was just being mauled by this purple Pikmin, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Pikmin are kind of funny with the way they grab near the ledge. Uh, they can grab people who are hanging on the ledge uh, with the right hurt boxes. But now Go Making Pie has to still make up the 70% deficit, and he only has two minutes to do it. And he's fighting a Pikachu who's more than willing to take his sweet time on that platform. Uh, Go Making Pie is actually going to need to be making some pretty big plays if he wants to bring already, this back. Already up to 53%, though. And, I mean, we've seen he can very effectively use uh, the Purple Pikmin. I affectionately call them Bruce. Max Ketchum calls them <laughs> Monique. Yes. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's, we've seen effectiveness here. Oh. Doesn't get the hit on his body though, otherwise that most likely would have spelled doom for Go Making Pie. Waiting at the ledge. Wow, crouching just under the forward air. Gets hit by another one and then gets the white attached to him though. That's a bit more percentage. Starting to get a little dangerous for Captain L here. Captain L is uh, still undeterred though. 
willing to just wait out on that platform, even though, like, now the right purple aerial can actually kill him. If he's near the side of the blast zone, he gets hit by a Farrer, especially a purple back air. That, that's curtains for Pika. Pikachu actually committed to try and killing a purple there. Uh, unfortunately, though, Gomekin Pie was not able to take advantage. Looking to chase down whatever Gomekin Pie's reaction is on stage. I Doesn't like throwing it. the purple there, though, because it definitely covered an attempt at an, uh, any trump. If you, Pikachu went for the ledge or anything like that, he would have gotten hit by the purple, possibly stage spike. So... It was, it was good not just for that, but because then, then when uh, Gomei Kenpai up Bs, he has less weight on him, so mm -hmm. he's able to move a lot faster, too. So yeah, Gomei Kenpai definitely has some, some real skier hill with Alomar. This might be enough, though. Yeah, yeah just is. a simple throw, 167%. Too much damage to survive through, but great match. It, yeah. The first... the.